Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 16th through to the 22nd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cappy. First up, we have the Queen of Swords in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the High Priestess in the upright. Next, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, Justice in the upright, and lastly, the Five of Wands reversed. Hmm, what's going on, Cappy? Queen of Swords is in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, it could be this week you are dealing with an air sign. You could just be dealing with a very outspoken person. The Queen of Swords is known for clearing up matters. Um, she can be related to the court. If you have court dealings, this could be representative of your lawyer. Uh, she can be an arbitrator. She can be uh, attached to the military, to police, um, all kinds of those, even uh, surgeons like are the, the swords people. So could be you're having dealings with one of those types of people this week. For others of you, this is you uh, embodying the energies of the Queen of Swords and you're speaking your truth. You're speaking up. This week could be dominated by important conversations that need to be had. This is where a matter needs to be cleared up, whether it's a legal matter, whether it's a medical matter, whether it's uh, just, you know, laying things on the line. It could be that you're dealing with somebody, they could be speaking on your behalf to clear things up, or it could be you yourself, right? Because energies can go both ways. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the High Priestess here in the upright position. High Priestess represents sort of hidden knowledge. It's where something is going on behind the scenes. We're not quite aware of it yet. Um, and nobody can tell us. It's a little bit frustrating because nobody can really tell us what is happening. It's, it's a need to listen to your intuition. You have to tap into your intuition to figure out what's going on. Now, the hidden knowledge isn't necessarily something to fear or be afraid of. It could sometimes be like, I always use the example, what if somebody's uh, conspiring to, you know, throw a party for you? Well, of course, they would be keeping that secret, right? If they're trying to do a surprise party. So it could be something like that. It could be something like maybe there's talks going on behind the scenes about uh, maybe they want to promote you and they don't want, they're not ready to bring you in on it just yet. So you have to listen to your intuition you have to sense something. And, and I say to those of you who are spiritually minded, who do do meditation, it's good. If you're feeling something at the beginning of the week, Capricorn, go into a meditation and try to figure out what it is you're, you're picking up on. That, because that's the only way you can go within and try to listen to your gut feeling about something. And if you don't know how to meditate or do any of those practices, then just go with your gut. When you're presented with something at the beginning of the week, just go with your instinct, your, your gut feeling about something. The next card you have is Four of Swords in the reverse position. It's time to get out of bed and spring back into action, Capricorn. There's no more lallygagging. The Four of Swords in the upright position comes up when we're Sometimes it's when we're physically under the weather and or maybe we just had a medical procedure and we are laid up. We're laying in bed and we can't uh, we can't move because we're recuperating. We're not supposed to get up. Sometimes it can happen after, you know, a situation, a breakup or something that sort of knocks the wind out of us emotionally or mentally. And we just need a break. So we just kind of like, you know. This is like the, the rest period. But when the card is reversed, like it is for you, this is where we need to, um, we're healed already. So we need to start getting up and getting moving again because something's coming down for sure. For sure. You're sensing it at the beginning of the week. Something is coming down. You got to get ready for it. Moving on towards the weekend, we have justice here in the upright position. It is Libra energy. Maybe it's important to some of you, but the... Justice card being here, especially with the Queen of Swords as your overall energy, this can indicate that there is a, a judgment coming down this week. Uh, if you're caught up in the court system, there could be a, a legal matter being cleared up, or perhaps one is just 
starting to happen. Maybe this is the early process of it. This could be your lawyer filling you in on everything that's happening. Um, justice in the upright position is always much better than when it's reversed because this can indicate, you know, justice is in the process of being laid out. Sometimes this will come up for, you know, a, a conclusion of an arbitration or something like that. It can come out just in regular stuff. If you don't have anything going on in the court system, it can, could be that there was something unfair going on. The justice was reversed at some point in the home or in your workplace or what have you. But now it's in the upright. So you could be seeing things, a big turnaround here in this situation where things finally are becoming fair again because you know information news and information is coming out and it's it's coming up and now matters are getting cleared up so if this was at work maybe th this could have been somebody uh you know hr your boss or somebody speaks up and you know clears up the matter in your favor for others of you it could just be simple poetic justice where you see something just play out and you're like hey you know it's karma <laughs> and the last card you have is the five of wands in the reverse position in the upright position the five of wands can point to a lot of stiff competition when it's in reverse the competition is over it points back to the four of cup or the four of wands in the upright which is a uh, a card that represents uh, you know some kind of victory celebration so it could be that if you were in some kind of competition you know the justice ruled in your favor and now you are you are the clear winner in this situation so that could be happening for some of you for others of you this is about drama everybody knows the five of wands in the upright position not my favorite energy because a lot of times this can come up for that he said she said nonsense that goes back and forth i always equate it to the um full moon madness which was actually just last week the week leading up to the full moon people tend to get overly hyper hyperbolic about situations they get um overly excited sometimes you know making mountains out of molehills and all that stuff dragging other people into it and then it just becomes a whole big mess and then when the full moon's over well nobody cares about it anymore so just you know don't waste your energy or your time on that kind of stuff i always say if they're that five of wands energy is going on get as far away from it as you possibly can just wait it out till the full moon's over and if there's still an issue you know go back and reassess it but don't get involved in it if you don't have to so for some of you there is a clarity coming up to clear up a situation where there was some petty drama or some serious drama but it's over now <laughs> and justice is here and it's all the matter is being cleared up so this is absolutely wonderful wonderful news for those of you i don't know why you guys always get the justice card not always but i mean a lot of times more so than other signs do so a lot of you could be dealing with unjust situations but justice is here for you the drama is coming to an end matters are getting cleared up remember at the beginning of the week though capricorn listen to your intuition your gut feeling whatever it is that you sense is going on listen to it uh looks like there's going to be some activity going on here <laughs> you know the return to action energy and uh matters are getting cleared up so that's always a good thing right <laughs> So, my cappies, that's what I have for you. Please do leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you, and do tell us how so. Um, that's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Um, have a wonderful, fantastic week. Thank you very much for joining me. Namaste. Much love. Bye for now.